Okay, hey everyone, it's Mesme, and this video is about answering y'all's questions. So let's go ahead and start. We have a question from Bridget, and she says, Living in Korea, is it hard to adjust to the culture and the different language? Did you learn some Korean before moving there? All right, it depends on the person, actually. If you do, I suggest you learn Korean before coming to Korea because you might end up like me, getting lost and not being able to get help sometimes. So please learn Korean before you get here or learn it as you are um, adjusting here. Uh, is it hard to adjust the culture? Again, depending on the person, I'm a very picky person, so I tend to get very culture shocked easily. And my boyfriend is nodding right now because he agrees. Um, it, yes, it, it's hard. it was hard for me at least. Um, I was fine the first day and as you've seen in my other videos, the second or third day is when culture shock smacked me in the face. And I didn't eat for a couple days because my stomach and my throat would just not let me eat any Korean food, but I'm fine now. It actually took a couple weeks to, for my body to adjust to the food. Um, but other than that, I think the food was one of the biggest problems and the communication issues. Especially with me, I'm a very nervous person, so even though I do understand some Korean, I panic. I get nervous in public places and I just have a phobia so I tend to panic and forget everything and I try to avoid public places but I'm getting a little bit better now that I can understand some Korean and I can say some basic words. Um, Alright, question number two. Before you started teaching, did you go to college or university? Um, it might not seem like it because I look young. Um, no, but yes, I did go to a four year university. However, I did graduate a semester early and it gave me time to mentally prepare myself, not even mentally prepare myself, it just gave me time to gather all the paperwork to come to Korea because it is um, a long process, it does take a couple months. But yes, my major was communication in the field of broadcasting, so broadcast journalism uh, and ultimately that is my dream but I'm starting off with making little YouTube videos um, and it was a private university so it's very expensive and I'm trying to pay my loans by working here in Korea and yeah third question uh, this one is from Katie I'm going to be moving to Korea soon what is it like living there is it easy to make friends because I'm moving to Korea by myself this one is kind of a hard question because I don't live in Seoul. If you are moving to Seoul, you might live a little bit more comfortably. It depends. If you're going to be a student, you have your dormitory. If you're going to be an English teacher, you have your apartment. It could either be shared with your other teachers or you can get your own. I don't live in Seoul. I live in a very, uh, it's kind of a, not really a small town. I live in a town outside of Seoul and my apartment is really small which was very hard to adjust because uh, my apartment is literally the size of my bedroom in Texas so just this is probably even smaller than my room in Texas um, is it easy to make friends yes it's easy to make friends if you know where to look um, I mean anywhere you go you need to be careful with who you talk to um, try to you know talk to people with caution just like you would in any other place for me, I made friends by going to the meetup site and meeting people locally through that site. So every Wednesday, like I said in my other videos, I go and meet a lot of new people through that meetup group and everything's going well so it's not that hard. You will, if you are a university student, you will easily make many friends. I, I made a lot of friends. And even as a teacher, there's Facebook groups you can join. There's, if you're a student, there's Facebook groups you can join and there's lots of events all over Korea. So don't worry about that, just be open to meeting new people, don't be shy and you're going to be fine. And last but not least, Hugo says, you have a boyfriend? No! Sad face, yes. Unfortunately, I'm sorry, I'm just kidding. Fortunately, I know I do, I do have a boyfriend and he's sitting right behind the camera. He's my producer, not producer, director right now. 
but all he does is press the buttons to stop the video. But yes, I do. Um, he's in my other couple videos. I hid him from a couple videos at the beginning, but I will make an official introduction video about how we met, which that is going to be fun, right? <laughs> but anyways, that's all. Thank you for sending your questions. Please send more if you want or not. Um, subscribe, like it, dislike it. I'm happy if you just watch it. So thank you everybody for watching my video and see you next time. Bye.